go ahead and, and pick up those sunflower seeds that are in front of you. I'll close with this story. In your mind's eye, picture a small town. About 150 years ago, many of the townspeople are, are farmers. That's what you did 150 years ago so you could eat. This particular summer, it has been a bumper crop. The farmers are out bringing in and harvesting their wheat and their oats and their barley and the yield that they are receiving is beyond their expectation. They're working longer and harder hours, but not so long and not so hard that they can't get together every evening down at the town square because farmers love to talk. And as the farmers would get together every evening, they'd start talking about the unbelievable yield that their crops are giving them this year. Then finally, one evening, one of the younger farmers noticed that old farmer John wasn't there. He wasn't coming to the town square in the evenings to talk about the harvest. And another farmer mentioned, well, you know, maybe John's fields are so full that he doesn't have any time to come down and see us. Why don't we go see John's fields? So they, they got in their horses and their buggies and they drove out to old farmer John and they found John sitting on his porch. They said, John, we've been missing you. We've been getting together every evening. We've been talking about this unbelievable crop that we're all bringing in. And we were wondering, can we go look at your fields? And John said, sure. So they get in the, the buggies and they drive out. And as they're approaching Farmer John's fields, this awkward silence comes over the group. And finally, one of the younger farmers has the courage to break the silence and says, John, uh, looking at your fields here and... They look a lot different than ours. You see, John's fields were, were overrun with weeds, full of weeds. And that young farmer said, John, uh, what kind of seed did you plant in these fields this year? And old farmer John looked at him and said, plant? Well, I got to thinking earlier this year that, you know what, planting, planting seed can, can be risky business. Some of you boys might remember, about 10 years ago, we had to flood these parts and damn near lost everything and then about 20 years before that and a lot of you guys weren't here we almost had a drought so I got to thinking I had some real good seed and it was up in the barn and I figured I'd just leave it in the barn because plant seeds risky we've been here today and what I have given to you are, are, are seeds not <laughs> these sunflower seeds but the seeds of, of new tools and and new ways of thinking and new ways of doing things tomorrow when you go back to work. And ultimately, you are the one that has to decide whether you will leave your seed in the barn or whether you'll plant it. Now, if you plant it, I'm not going to guarantee that every single seed will grow. Oh, but many will. And the law of the harvest is that when something grows, it produces even more seed. So it's your choice. You can keep your seed in the barn. You can go plant.